Hey y'all, welcome to my video. We're gonna be talking about how I maintain my healthy natural hair. And as y'all can see, my hair is colored, so that's a double whammy. It's hard enough to maintain regular natural hair. I'm just gonna share a couple of tricks that I use and also do a mini twist out tutorial. So if you're interested in figuring out what I do, stay tuned. Twist in, <gasps> twist out. All right, now for real. So I deep conditioned for one whole entire day, y'all. And that's a trick for keeping your hair strong, especially if you have been wearing a protective style. I have faux locks, so I wanted my hair to, you know, get all the moisture it had been lacking while it was wrapped up inside the dread. So if you normally have your hair out i don't advise leaving the conditioner on because some conditioners well most of them contain coconut oil and other oils that have proteins and that can actually cause your hair to be dry and brittle if you have too much of it um, so these are my tools i use i use two different detanglers and i use shea butter i deep condition with it and i'm going to be using it to style and if you saw a few minutes ago, that's my go-to conditioner and shampoo. I love it. So I'm just rinsing out my conditioner. I actually didn't put anything extra in. I just made sure everything was out of my hair. Um, if it had been my first time, I do two shampoos and then one conditioner. So when you detangle your hair, y'all, just make sure that you're starting from the end and going to the root. And make sure you keep a good bit of tension on the middle of your hair because that helps with you not feeling the pool and that also helps with you not pulling your hair out so it's very important i'm just going to stick this towel on my head real quick if you have hair that really holds a lot of water walk around the towel for about 10 minutes if you have highly porous hair like me and you suck water in and you lose it real quick Get the towel off or else you're going to need a spray bottle because you want your hair to be damp. Here, I advise using clips or multiple hair ties. I just didn't have them and didn't feel like looking for them. But you should. Here, I use about two pumps of the Cream of Nature Styling Wrap Lotion. Um, my actual favorite mousse to use doing a twist out at all is the Ozzy Moist 3X Control curl defining mousse it's in a purple bottle it's bomb it adds you a little shine and everything but this is my next up when i can't get to that um it's surprisingly hard to find but Publix usually sells that so when you do the twist i try to make sure all my twists are neat roughly around the same size and i'm picking up about the same amount of hair each time I run my fingers through my hair to comb it as I twist. And if you don't do this, um, I advise to use a comb or a brush at the ends and that's gonna make sure your twist is really neat when it's taken down. You can do both. I actually usually do both. I didn't really get to go in a lot about the shea butter like I wanted to, so my shea butter i melt it down and then i added the other oils into it and i let it cool again before i used it on my hair so it is actually a little oil blend and some shea butter and you can whip yours or you can leave it solid like that whatever is easier for you but i used it while i was deep conditioning and then i also placed it on my ends my ends especially being colored are my um, most sensitive area of my hair you know they're the weakest and that's for anybody's hair even who's not colored but especially when you have color your ends will be the first to go so i just want to make sure that i secure them in um lock in the moisture especially using mousse sometimes mousse can dry out your hair because it has alcohol in it so i just add a little bit there and you just want to make sure you don't put too much when you start untwisting them, you want to kind of move backwards in the way that you were twisting. You don't want to run your fingers all through them because they'll get frizzy really quickly. You want to take your time when you separate them. Um, that way, when you want to make them bigger, you can make it as big as you want or leave it 
compact if you want to, but if you run your fingers through it from the get-go, it's no going back. You're gonna have to do the whole style again. So just take your time, separate them piece by piece, and it's gonna be good. A uh, tip, if you have straight ends that don't naturally curl on their own, your ends of your twist out are not going to be curled. So if you want yours to be more curled even than mine are, you can do a little bantu knot at the end of the twist where you kind of wrap the hair back up around itself. Or you can um, take a roller or a straw and wrap your hair around that and secure it with a bobby pin. And then problem solved. So. Here go hairstyle number one, y'all. It's my little fake bangs. It works. Hairstyle number two is literally a messy ponytail with the fake bangs. And this is actually my favorite hairstyle. I wear it with like a headband normally, and it's really cute. Hairstyle number three. I, I don't know what to call this, the antenna bangs. It's kind of like the fake bang thing, but it's like less hair. It's a, more of a controlled mess. And the bun is more put together. And of course, you know, if you don't care about preserving your curls, you can just brush it and it'll be even better. But I don't know. I like to get mine at least for a couple of days. So here we go, the little poodle puff. I don't know what number this, oh, number four. Number five double treble i never feel like i look good with two buns y'all but this is just to show you and you could use rubber bands i prefer bobby pins or stuff like this because i'm tender headed and i'll be making myself mad taking rubber bands out so i use them as little as possible and you know this would be cute you do your edges you'll be somebody okay the last one is like literally nothing it's just pinning my hair up but you know a little goes a long way so Get you a little side part, do your swoops on the side, pin it up. You know, you got a hairstyle. You got a hairstyle you didn't even have to work hard for. This is this was six hairstyles, that's six days a week that you didn't really have to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this helped you guys. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Last but not least, the best protective style of them all, Girl the Bonnet. Make sure that if you're not tying your hair down at night, you're using a bonnet or a silk pillow um, case because cotton is the enemy. It The friction breaks off your hair. And especially for natural hair, which is prone to being drier, your hair will be gone. You, It's not going to be gone overnight, but it will break off. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's staying safe during this time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you have any tips for me or if you want to hear more tips from me. I am getting ready to graduate from cosmetology school, you guys, so I am actually a hairstylist. So if you have some things you want to know, just ask. Bye.